Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Bias, and if you'd like to do the same, you'll find the links and the details down below in the description, alright? This is meant to be an atmospheric first-person horror experience about a man looking for his wife in a strange, mysterious space filled with darkness. I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, but leave your thoughts down below in the comments either way, alright? This is Bias. And I suppose this is the strange, mysterious space filled with darkness. And cockroaches, apparently. Okay, here we are. I'm in control. So, I think primarily this is going to be a walking simulator. I don't think there's going to be a great deal of interactivity here. Even the doors open by themselves, apparently. <laughs> right, let's go. Yeah, it's meant to be quite a short experience as well, so might be able to complete it in one video. Let's see. So I can't get that open? No. Can we open the drawers here? No. I've got a body though, that's a nice plus. Ah, a little bit of voice acting and Japanese, right? Cool. Yeah, I think the developer of this game is Japanese. And I should thank him for sending me over a copy of this. Alright, can't get that open. The radio? The drawers? No? Hmm. Alright, well, let's just head in this direction. I guess my wife is over here somewhere. No. Oh. Okay. What just happened there? Did I just reset? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, can I leave? Ugh, no, I don't think so. I can go back here, but it's just back to a dead end. Well, that was weird. Okay, um, I should try and refrain from blinking, because I think it was when I blinked that that happened. I think I do see something at the end of the corridor. It's a long way away, though. Oh, oh okay, right-click is zoom. Hmm, yeah, I've got a long way to go. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh. Ah, unfortunately, there's no subtitles for the Japanese that I'm hearing on the radio. Maybe someone can help me out in the comments. I don't know. Through here? No. It was yeah, it was about there that I blinked last time, and the same thing happened. Come on. <sighs> right. Okay. So there's a, there's a looping element to this, obviously. Oh. Oh. Hello. Are you my wife? I hope not. <laughs> uh, can I just go past it? Oh. Alright. Thank you. Okay, well, I guess we're heading in this direction. Alright. Ah, it's a bit too garbled, unfortunately. I mean, even if I could hear what they were saying, I probably couldn't translate it, so let's just move on. Am I ever going to get to the end of the corridor, or am I going to blink? I'm going to blink again! Oh, come on! <sighs> right. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I think it is changing quite subtly each and every time. I guess we've just got to do this another 10, 15, 20 times. Is this all the game is, though? I hope not. I really hope not. Hmm. We might be missing out on some incredible backstory here, you know? This way. Nope. Okay. Am I going to blink? Yes, of course I am. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is different. Oh, look at that! That wardrobe is so scared, shaking with fear! Don't worry, buddy! Is there someone inside? My wife? Uh, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Right, okay, let's go around it. Alright, well, this is different. Maybe it was just a slow start. Hey! <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. Hey. Hmm, who is that? 
Invisible man, by the looks of it. Okay, I guess this isn't going to work, so let's continue. Oh, come on. I always get to about there, and I blink, and I'm back here. And that's it. Alright, come on. Maybe this time I'll get to the end. It's a ridiculously long hallway, to be honest. It's made quite frustrating, because even though I've been through this four, five, six times now, I can't run. I can't sprint. Not even a light jog. Not even a power walk. I mean, come on. These boots, they're just so big, you know? They're weighing me down. I'd love to let you out, but I can't. Sorry. There you go. I blink. Right, okay, so... <sighs> Let's go back this way. Maybe something's going to change. Maybe there's going to be another door. No. Can't open this. Oh, geez. Okay, right. I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm beginning to lose hope for this game. I've got to be honest. Right, come on. Something's going to happen here, yeah? Do I see something ahead of me? Mm, no. The radio? What's the radio going to tell me? Nothing? Nothing. Oh, okay, right. Well, you know, it's been a while since I've played a terrible indie horror game, right? <laughs> no. And I blink. I... Ooh! Okay. Red means scary. Here we go. Is that all that's changed? The lighting? Let's see, let's try the doors again. Let me just check, hang on, let me go to, right, options, control, action. Actions, left click. I'm pressing action on everything, but it seems like the only thing I have an action on are the menu buttons. So, <laughs> yeah, not a great deal of interactivity at all. Nothing on the radio? No. Okay. Hearing some noises, I mean the lights, the creaks. No one trying to bash on the door, right? <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Let's start up there. Okay, alright. Looks like we got the wardrobes back. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Wait! Come on. Was that meant to happen? There's no way I could outrun that because I can't run. I'm pretty convinced at this point that that is not my wife. Okay. <laughs> Just for a second, I was wondering if it was going to roll the credits. There is meant to be a post credit scene in this game, actually, and apparently it's quite good. Oh boy. Right, I, I see it coming for me. Right, we're going to go this way. We're going to go this way and... Oh! Oh, interesting. Right. In here? Okay. Hey! Maybe I can hide in one of the wardrobes? Oh, shit. What? I don't know if that thing can follow me in here. I think it's trying to get in. Or is oh, no, 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 something's trying to get out of this. Can I open it? No. Ooh. I don't think I locked the door. You can come in. What is going on here? I think we just have to endure this. I'm not talking about that sequence, I'm talking about the entire game. Hey! Okay, the door's open, we can go out. Are we going to get throttled again? Hmm. I don't see anyone. Nothing back there? No? Alright, well, let's try this again, shall we? At least now I know that I can go back and hide. I was going to say run back, but that's not true. Okay. Still, the doors don't open. The radio? Silent as a mouse this time. Maybe this door? Why is this one flickering? Come on. No. Ugh, am I going to blink? It's usually here. What have we got? Is that me and my wife? 11.02? Not the 11th of February or the 2nd of November? Is that when we got married or something? Okay. 
Hmm. We're seeing beyond the bit where I blink. What? Okay. What is that? A monitor? A TV? Well, this is different. Hmm. Yeah. My thoughts on the game so far are displayed right there. Oh, shit. Okay. That was pretty good, to be honest. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. All right. It does seem to be picking up the pace a little bit. Maybe it is just a really slow start. Okay, all right. This sort of stuff is rebuilding my faith in the game. Come on, we need more like that. If it is just walking back and forth down a hallway endlessly, we need more stimulation, right? We need more to do. We need more to experience. Oh, damn, we've actually made it. All right. Ooh. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm not going back. That doesn't sound like a bad thing, though. I guess we're not going that way. All right. Looks like we can go upstairs. Okay. I don't know where this strange, mysterious space is meant to be. Is it meant to be a house? Is it, like, a simulation? Is it independent of everything else? Another dimension? What? What is this? And where is this meant to be? I think I saw a, a family photo of me and my wife, so... Yeah. And there it is again, actually. Again with 1102. Okay. Right. This one? No, that doesn't work. Oh, hello again. <laughs> it's been a while. Not shaking with fear this time, are you? Okay. Nope. Right, let's go around here. Let's see what we find. Okay. What is that? We've got uh, a load of burning coals ahead of us, by the looks of it. Wow, okay. <laughs> that was quick. That's a blink and you'll miss it one. Was that my wife? Hmm. Alright, well this is different. I love the decor, yeah. Oh, there are alarm clocks? <laughs> From a distance, yeah, I thought I was seeing the smoldering embers of coals. Damn, alright. Okay, let's see. Uh, this way, yes. Okay, so... We're exploring more of the house, it seems. As lovely as it is. There you go, there's my sofa. This will be the living room. And there it is down there, a bit more easily accessible. What else we got? The bedroom, right? <laughs> I don't think I'll be eating up there. Alright. Another alarm clock. Why isn't that added to the pile? What does that say? Is that... It's 11... Okay, it's 11.02. What is with 11.02? You know what this feels like to me? If I was to tell an AI program to make an atmospheric indie horror game, this is what it would come up with. Oh, hello! <laughs> yeah, they're all 11.02, aren't they? All of them. Okay, well, what am I meant to find? Not that. Find words. Find words? Okay, I meant to find words. Well, I haven't found any words thus far, but okay. Um, let's see. There's a load of closets and wardrobes around here. Some of them are open, some aren't. Oh. There's a baby. Okay, that's new. Can we go back this way? Sounds like it's over here. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Furious. I guess that's one of the words. Oh, hello. <laughs> Why is it always mannequins? Okay. Different. Words, right? Not word. So I guess there's more. 
So, it was the baby that led me to that one. This way? Oh! I hear another baby. There you go, I'm listening out for the audio cues. Here we go, here we go. What's this one? Furious? Angry. Okay. Furious and angry. Oh boy, have I been a bad dad? Am I being punished here? Okay. What? Oh. <laughs> it is getting a little bit spookier, to the game's credit. Uh, oh, right, yep, okay. Uh, I, I think it's time we get out of here. I think it's time we go back to that door, because I found some words. Okay, there's another one. Happy! That's better! Happy! What? Okay, I'm looking at my desktop here. The game just crashed. The fuck? It was just getting better as well! Does, does the game- okay, does the game save? Hang on, I'm just gonna open it back up again. Uh... Okay. What the hell is this? Password. If you forgot the password, look here, there's a QR code. What the hell is this? Okay. Alright. So... Was that crash intentional? Interesting. Okay. Yeah, okay. My, my faith in the game is, uh, is being renewed. Let's see what that links to. Okay. Kurosawa Create. Yeah, alright. It's a picture. It's a picture of, I think, my wife and I with 1102. That's got to be the password, right? 1102. And we're back in the game. Right! Okay. That did throw me for a loop, but that was meant to happen. Cool! Okay. Um, so do we need to find the words again, or... I don't know. Right, let's see. Let's check that door. Just around here, yeah? Oh, it's open, I think. Ah! Alright. Yeah, maybe this game is going to go down the sort of I'm scared route. That'd be cool. Oh, alright. 11.02 it is. That's it. That's the password. Where are you? Somewhere in here, maybe. Hmm. Alright. Okay. I guess we're just gonna have to follow this around, navigate the maze, and hopefully we'll find her at the end of it. Uh, whoop, whoop, okay. <laughs> no, I don't think that was her. Alright. How was that? Oh, hey guys! Oh, there's so many of you! Wow, okay, please don't drop on me. Right. They're all up there having a chat. Uh, I'm down here, still looking for my wife. Still finding that I can't open any of these doors. Looks like there's one at the end, though. Is that the one I'm heading for? Oh, it's a red door. Hey, color! Oh, this must be the one. If we're going into a cutscene, this is it. Okay. Are, are you my wife? Maybe my wife's eyeball? Oh. Oh, hey! I've been looking for you everywhere. That's an interesting talent you've got. Oh, she, uh... She doesn't look right. I kind of saw that one coming. Okay. So that's bias. Is that the end of the game? There is meant to be a post credit scene, so... Well, here are the credits. I guess we're just going to have to wait to, to see what's going to happen afterwards. Oh. 
Okay. What's going on? Well, that doesn't look like a strange, mysterious world filled with darkness. Where are we? Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Hey! Is that my wife? I can hear you, yeah. Finally, I'm awake. So I was dreaming that? The, the bias value is zero. No worries, she says. This place is what? Who are you? I'm... You seem to have a foggy memory. Yeah. Nice teeth, by the way. I've been stuck in that world for so long. What did you say? What are you talking about? I know your voice. I can see how that could be confusing. Okay. What? He programmed so that I could come back to the world. Welcome back, happy birthday. Uh, uh, sorry, who, who are these people? Clones? Am I a clone? Was I, was I just taken out the Matrix or something? What is going on here? Havens. <laughs> you can't just leave it there. I need some context. I need some more information. What was going on there? Havens? Who are they? What, what facility was I in? Who are the people in the pouches? Were they clones? Am I a clone? I think I'm a clone. And I was in that world for so long, that guy programmed it so that I could escape the world. Who was that woman? I, she kind of looked like my wife, but maybe she wasn't. Uh, why is the game called Bias? The bias level's at zero? What does that mean? <laughs> what does any of this mean? Maybe there's going to be a, a greater connected bias universe after this. Maybe there's going to be a, a few follow-up games that make sense of all this. Or maybe I missed a hell of a lot not translating those Japanese radio conversations. I'm not sure. An interesting, albeit confusing, post credit sequence, but at least it's given me something to talk about, because without that, there's not much to this, really. It's very dull, very boring, very monotonous. It's just going back and forth, up and down a hallway, it's looping, occasionally something changes, occasionally there's a jump scare, but yeah, not a great deal to it. I did enjoy the crash, that threw me for a loop. Yeah, I enjoyed that, finding the password, the QR code. It's a bit of a shame that the game didn't lean more in that direction, and maybe this would have turned out to be a little bit more like I'm Scared, with some out-of-the-box puzzles and maybe even ARG-like out-of-the-game puzzles to do. So, is this a terrible indie horror game? I think it might be. If it's not, it's caught in this middling area where it's completely forgettable and basically pointless to play. But that was bias. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Leave your theories down below in the comments. Try and explain that post credit sequence, please. And I hope to see you back in another video very soon. I don't think there's going to be a great deal of interactivity here. Even the doors open by themselves, apparently. <laughs> Are you my wife? I hope not. <laughs> Am I ever going to get to the end of the corridor, or am I going to blink? I'm going to blink again! Oh, come on! Oh, look at that! That wardrobe is so scared, shaking with fear! Well, you know, it's been a while since I've played a terrible indie horror game, right? <laughs> Actions left click. I'm pressing action on everything, but it seems like the only thing I have an action on are the menu buttons. Looks like we got the wardrobes back. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh, shit. Okay. That was pretty good, to be honest. 
Wow, okay. <laughs> that was quick. That's a blink and you'll miss it one. Oh, hello. <laughs> I guess that's one of the words. Oh, hello. <laughs> Why is it always mannequins? Okay, there's another one. Happy. That's better. Happy. What? Oh, hey, guys. Oh, there's so many of you. Okay. What? You can't just leave it there.